Well done. <laughs> First bite in New Zealand. Thank you so much. Well that done. Awesome. So the last part of the, the Kiwi story, uh -huh. tradition. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying to stick to the more traditional type hunting for this part. And it's called Pikau style. Okay. Which is basically a backpack. Made out of... But it's a deer. <laughs> okay. okay. And so quite often, because as, as you've seen, we've come a long way in. So what happens is, is that you can, um, to get your meat out, because obviously we like to take everything as much as we can, um, you carry it out. That's a beautiful little deer. So don't go too much. Just, just, yep, just nip that there without catching the stomach. Nice. So if you cut in here, I tend to do is you cut in there, your knife's quite a bit shorter, but if you cut in there and you go in there like that on a 45, that'll bleed them normally. And you've obviously got your trachea and your wisdom. So you can go right back in through into the top of the, the chest. The chest or the diet on the top end of the diaphragm. Yeah. So in the old meat hunting days you always have to leave, they call it the pluck. Okay. So you'd always have to leave the diaphragm in, oh. which held the lungs and the heart and everything. So all the meat hunters and, the, and like my granddad was a deer colour. Right. So he used to have to carry out the animal yeah. with the pluck in. Okay. Because what would happen then is that they would then get to um, test it to show that it didn't have any tuberculosis or any other oh, okay. any other diseases and it was good for health uh, for human consumption right and then it would get sold and the other reason is is that the pluck always had to be attached to the deer really so so you so guys were actually carrying out of the bush um, animals that you know that were sometimes five ten kilos heavier because of their big red stags and all the, yeah. the lungs and all the other stuff and they had to carry it out to get it tested to be able to sell their meat Wow. So another really interesting thing with meat hunting is, is that because of um, the catchment areas and the farming, and you know, obviously in the 1800s they started the farming in New Zealand and, and all that, traditionally you always leave the ears on the carcass. Yep. So you cut, cut through here and down here because we'll take the head off. Okay. Okay. So, so part of traditional meat culling was you had to have the pluck in, so the heart, the lungs and liver and the ears so that you could see that it wasn't a farmed animal. Oh, okay, right, so it's not tattooed yeah, or tagged. Yeah, it wasn't or... tattooed or tagged and then that was a genuine feral New Zealand, you know, New Zealand wild animal and okay. then you could sell it. Right, so you put a little slot in here. Okay. Not too big, just a little slot that the front leg's going to go through. Oh, a bit bigger than that, about just so you can get the hoof through. Yep, yep, and on the other side. There's a sinew running down the back of this leg here. Okay. So you want to put your knife in mm. against the shin, back of the shin bone. Yep, so that's it there. Okay, I see. All right. See that? Mm -hmm. And then you cut the front of the... The kneecap? The kneecap. So that sinew holds all the weight. Okay. The reason you leave that in is so that it doesn't fall out. So when you push it through, push it through. Do we have to empty the blood out? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that last, Finney. So don't, don't worry. <laughs> we wouldn't play tricks on you. So that, you pop that through like this. Remember, this could be, you could be still two or three days walk with this animal. So right. that's why you've got to... And then you use a shin bone to to lock it in place. So traditionally, you're by yourself, so you you drag the animal up onto a something like that, and then you sit down yep. and you whip your things on. And you put your arms through here. Yep, right? the arms exactly through, like a <laughs> just just when you're getting started, you put your hood on. Okay. Okay, now you stand up, you're right. <laughs> yep. It's a little Good work. <laughs> okay, so now you'll see these here are really oh, important because 
you can use it and you can also use your elbows, right? Now there's another thing that you always do with it, is obviously, make sure that gun's safe, Thank you. you put your gun on top of the oh. deer and then that way you can keep everything, your gun and everything in. Right. Now, just because of the purposes of your camera gear, we'll, we'll carry a pack for you. Thank you. But if you're just typically hunting, you'd have a pack like this. Right. You stick that in the cavity of the deer. Ah. Yeah, so, so that oh. goes in the cavity of the deer. Yeah. And you've got your pack put away and it's clean. Yep. It's normally clean because you've done a great job of cleaning the animal. You've got your gun, everything there. If it was a trophy animal, you'd also carry the antler in here. Oh, okay. But obviously this isn't, so we'll discard the, the head. Right. And we're off. Let's go.